you revise? What is an altitude? Already you have learned in your previous standards what is an altitude. Altitude or height of a triangle. What is another word for altitude? It is the height. So how it can be defined as? Altitude is a perpendicular drawn from a vertex to its opposite side. So this is the definition of altitude and now you have constructed three triangles. If you see the first one, it is an acute angle triangle. So triangle ABC is an acute angle triangle. And if you see from the vertex, I have drawn a perpendicular to the opposite base. So if you see BC is the side opposite to vertex A, AC is the side opposite to B, and AB is the side opposite to vertex C. So if you see in this diagram, the three altitudes are AP, BQ, and CR. And the point of intersection is O. And this point of intersection of altitudes is called as an orthocenter. So if you see the orthocenter in an acute angle triangle lies in the interior. So the point of confluence of altitudes is called as an orthocenter. You know that I have denoted it by O. So AP, BQ, and segment CR are the three altitudes in case of this acute angle triangle. Next, I am going for right angle triangle. So if you see triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. And now you can all see, just see what I have done. From Q to S, I have drawn one altitude that is QS. Now if you all see the other two altitudes, where are they? So the other two altitudes are segment PQ and segment RQ. So if you see all the three altitudes meet at point Q. So I can say the orthocenter lies on the right angle vertex in the right angle triangle. So again I repeat in a right angle triangle, the sides forming the right angle are the two altitudes and this is the third altitude which I have drawn on the hypotenuse. So in case of a right angle triangle, segment PQ, segment QR and segment QS are the altitudes and the orthocenter lies on the right angle vertex. Next, you move on to an obtuse angle triangle. So, if you all see A, B, C is an obtuse angle triangle. So, now just try to trace out where the three altitudes are. Now, if you see the first altitude, what I have drawn is from vertex A to the opposite side. Now, if you see vertex A is here, its opposite side is BC. But slightly I have to extend this so that I can rest this perpendicular on the side. So this is one altitude drawn from A. Similarly, the second altitude is drawn from B to its opposite side, AC. So AB is the first altitude, BQ is the second altitude and the third altitude which I have to draw from C. Again I have to extend if you see AB is the side opposite to C. But from C, nowhere I can draw perpendicular so I have to extend this side so that I can draw a perpendicular. So the three altitudes are AP, BQ and CR. If I extend these three altitudes, you will see that the orthocenter lies in the exterior of, a, of an obtuse angle triangle. So in this case, AP, BQ and segment CR are the altitudes and the orthocenter will lie if I extend this till here, say if I extend this till here and this is extended so the orthocenter lies in the exterior of, a, of an obtuse angle triangle. So after learning what the altitudes are, the next thing we are going to learn, the first concept, the first concept in this lesson is ratio of areas of triangle. So we are going to learn the properties based on ratios of areas of triangles because the first practice set is based on those concepts. Okay. Uh, students, we start with the concept, the first concept in the lesson similarity. The first concept is about ratio of areas of triangles. Ratio means division. And we are going to see what the property, how it relates the bases and heights of the two triangles. So now the first property, ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the product of their bases and heights. Now if you see I have drawn two triangles here, A, B, C and P, Q, R. If you see in the first triangle, B, C is the base, A, B is the height. In the second triangle, Q, R is the base and P, S is the height. According to this property, ratio of areas of the two triangles. What is the area of this triangle? It is area of triangle ABC. 
Upon area of triangle BQR, as usual, our formula for um, area is half into base into height. So, area of triangle ABC is equal to half into its base into its height. BQR also half into its base into its height. Half half will be divided, and finally, we are left with. If A1 and A2 are the two area, are the areas of the two triangles, then A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. So in words, the property states that the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of products of their bases and corresponding heights. Now, this is the main property, and we have got two sub properties here. This is case one and case two. Now, how we are going to do this? So the basic property is this, and now we just see this triangle here. Here there are two triangles PQR. You can see the other triangle is SQR. If you are seeing these two triangles, they are sharing a common base QR. So as soon as they are sharing the common base QR, and if I try to apply the same property here, QR QR is going to cancel because if you see area of triangle PQR. This base multiplied by its height. So, who is the base of triangle PQR? QR is the base, and PQ is the height. Similarly, in triangle QSR, QR is the base, and PS is the height. So, if you see, both the triangles have got common base QR. As a result, QR, QR, QR will cancel, and what is just left? It is just left are the heights. So, I can summarize this property as. If the two triangles are having a common base, then the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights. So A1 upon A2 is equal to H1 upon H2, where bases are equal. So the basic property is this, and this property is derived from this property. As the bases are equal, they cancel up and down, and it is just left. H1 and H2. So the final property is A1 upon A2 is equal to H1 upon H2 when the two bases are equal. Now again, case two. The basic property is this, and from this we have derived this case two property. Now just see what it is. Now if you see here in the diagram, there are two triangles which we have considered. We are supposed to find out the ratio of triangle uh, area of triangle PSR upon area of triangle PQS. So if you are seeing your triangle PSR, PSR is an obtuse angle triangle. So can you see that PL is its altitude? Uh, when I taught you the altitude is an obtuse angle triangle, you saw that one of the altitude, two of the altitudes are in the exterior. So can we say that PL is the altitude of PSR? Yes. So PL is the altitude, SR is the base. If I consider this triangle PQS, QS is the base and PM is its height. So if you see triangle PQS and triangle PSR, they have got the same height. Who is the height? PM is the common height for PSR as well as PQS. So as soon as you get the heights equal, PM, PM will cancel up and down, and you are left out with the property that ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. When heights are equal, so these are the three basic properties on which the first exercise or the first practice set is um, based on. So again, just in short, what the property is: if the triangles are having distinct bases and heights, if they are having different base and different heights, so we get the property A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. As soon as you see that the two triangles whose ratio you are supposed to find out, they are sharing a common base. Your property becomes a one upon a two is equal to h one upon h two, where the bases are equal. As soon as the triangles are having a common height, now the property turns out to be a one upon a two is equal to b one upon b two. So these are the three concepts which you all must know before starting the exercise. So in the next video, we are going to start with the practice set, the first practice set, one point five. Thank you.